Hey guys, um, I did not think I was going to be making another update video about this situation, but things have escalated quite a bit and I felt the need to, especially because my DMs on Instagram have kind of been flooded with questions of people wondering what the heck is going on. So I just wanted to address uh, what's going on. Basically, and everything that I'm telling you is public. I'm just kind of summarizing it in a way that I think will explain the situation and hopefully make it so you don't need to consume any more of uh, Connor's content. Um, and I'll explain why I say that as I go. Uh, I'm just going to say one more time, like, yes, this is public. I'm not like going into private conversations with Connor and like taking things that he's telling me and sharing with you. These are things that are public out there and I'm simply kind of validating slash um, summarizing. Basically, Connor has taken a substance called ayahuasca. For the first time, he took it about a year ago. And when he took it a year ago, it is what led to the first period of like concerning video content creation on his part uh, related to what he called enlightenment. Um, and I say it that way because I don't think it is true enlightenment, uh, what he is, is saying that he's going through. And that's what led to a series of videos where he had like 40 to 75 plus minute long Zoom calls with me and several other YouTubers, as well as his parents. And then um, he faked his own death. And then he went to a mental hospital for a couple weeks. After he got back from the mental hospital, he shared what his diagnosis was and what happened and things like that. And basically the, the doctors at the, the hospital diagnosed him as either uh, bipolar or as drug-induced psychotic. Um, like he was in a drug-induced psychosis. One of those two things, if not both. Um, and so I can't speak to which one of those things it is, but I can say that I'm more familiar with um, what bipolar is and I definitely can see how that is possible because he's had periods of time where he's been you know like very low energy throughout this phase uh, this the last year and he's also had periods where he's been on complete and total highs which is uh, a sign of like a manic depressive disorder manic being extreme highs depressive being extreme lows um, and like I said, I can't diagnose what it is. That was just what the doctor said. And then he did a 40 day fast in which he did not eat for 40 days. Um, that is real, it really happened. And then after that, he continued making content that I definitely deemed to be concerning. Um, a lot of it he called spiritual and I definitely don't see it that way. I see it as just um, incorrect slash being pulled from the effects of the drugs on his brain. Um, and that led to some very inappropriate content on his, on his Instagram, as well as uh, a third party site in which you can put out additional content that is pay to receive. Basically, I'm not saying the name of the third party site. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. I don't want to promote that site, especially in, in vein of uh, what Connor is putting there. And then things continue to escalate and get worse. Um, he posted video uh, of him drinking his own pee, urine. Uh, he explicitly stated that he eats his own feces and he um, consumes another bodily substance that is excreted from the male body. And this is really grotesque. Like everything I just said is very grotesque and it's deeply concerning and Every time he's posting about these things, he is stating what he claims to be like scientifically proven health benefits of these things or things that uh, either like ancient tribes or his own experience says has XYZ benefits. Please, please, please do not take any of those for any matter of fact or truth. Like, no, absolutely not. There are not health benefits to consuming your own human excrements, period, end of story. Um... I had to make this video because of things like this, because he is absolutely spreading false information. And it is just deeply concerning to me. Like Connor has been a friend of mine for a long time and I want to like be as good of a friend as I can to him. And in all honesty, the best way that I can do that right now is by completely um, just eliminating any matter of question about whether the things he's saying are true or not, because they're just simply false. Uh, they are dangerous those all of those things can literally harm you there is bacteria in your human excrements 
that is literally being excreted from your body because it is filled with bacteria. Uh, it is not healthy to to consume that uh, in any way. So very, very concerning in that way. But a lot of people have asked why, what is happening, what is going on with Connor? Again, this is public information, but I'm just summarizing and validating that this is the case. He took that ayahuasca the first time uh, a year ago, and I don't know where along the lines these things happened, but he has increased his frequency of consumption to every two hours, meaning that he is on one of the, if not the single most powerful, intense psychedelic drug every single day, consuming it every two hours. I'm not sure if you can picture what that means, but like, that means he is in a completely non-sober state constantly. The person that you see as Connor in his, on his Instagram, on his videos, all that, like that is not the Connor that we knew more than a year ago. Like just, that is not the same person in any way whatsoever. Um, he's in a completely mentally altered state and that is why the content that he's making looks the way that it does. <sighs> And it's really hard to see it. Um, it's really strange as, as, as a friend, as someone that knows him personally, just to see that level of change in a person. Um, like there is no reasoning with him at this point. Like he is completely sure that he is right about everything that he is putting out in terms of his content. There is not a single matter of doubt in his mind. He is sure that he is enlightened, that he is the happiest he's ever been, that all of the, the things that he's doing, including consuming his own um, human excrement, excrement, is right and is healthy and is like the best thing you could possibly do. And I just need to be here to dispel all of that because it is just, it is absurd, it is dangerous, it is not okay, it is inappropriate, and it's concerning. And like... It is very frustrating that people are still consuming this content and thinking that it is somehow right or that somehow because it's Connor that it is okay or any of that. Like, um, my my one ask of you is if you are continuing to follow him and, and comment on his stuff or anything like that, still be like a loving person to like show grace and to like try and and say to him that like there is still uh it is still within his power to come out of this and that he doesn't need to do these things and my, my other ask is please do not support the things that he is saying and doing um I, that's a very difficult statement for me to make because it's like yes he has been a friend of mine but to support someone in delusions of grandeur is dangerous because he is already sure from his own thoughts that he is right about these things. And if he gets additional validation about this from others, I can only imagine where that will go. Um, I, Connor, if you're watching this, I, I wish that I wasn't having to make this video, but the things that you have done over the last several months, if not year, is really, really hard to, to watch and to see. And, um, I really hope that you you understand that like you still have people who who care about you and that want the best for you but what's happening right now what's been happening is not okay and my my challenge to you would be to remove every single piece of content that you've posted over the last year um to to make it so that this has no ability to influence people's minds or perceptions uh in in a in a dangerous way because that's the way that I see it, and I think that that is the way that it is objectively. Um, the content that you've been putting out is is deeply concerning, and and I really, I really wish that it could um, come to an end. Um, I, I hope for the best for you, and I, I hope that you will consider stopping taking ayahuasca. Like it's already had such a mental impact on you um, in a in a profound and concerning way, and I would love to see the old. Connor come back by being in a sober state or at least give yourself the chance to return to a more sober state while not under the influence of an intense psychedelic drug. Um, and with that said, for anyone watching this, I absolutely do not recommend ever experimenting or trying ayahuasca. Yes, there may be some reports out there of positive experiences, but you also have the risk of this just incredibly dangerous um, long-term impact. So that is my... Um, update on this whole situation with, with Connor. I hope that it resolves sometime soon. 
Um, I hope it gets better and 